five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down And all that jazz Start the car, I know a whoopee spot Where the gin is cold but the piano's hot It's just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl And all that jazz Chicago on Broadway in the Ambassador's Theatre with the gorgeous and incredibly phenomenally talented Lee Zimmerman. Um, <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> who plays Martha <laughs> Kelly. And uh, it's her penultimate day today and so we're so lucky to be able to join her um, backstage in her dressing room. And uh, she's going to tell us a bit about her journey with Chicago. And yeah, for sure. She's going to. It's my second to last day this time. I always say. I was with the original production in 1996, the original revival of Chicago um, here on Broadway and I was with the show for two and a half years and then I um, in 2001 I started playing Val McKelly in London in the London production and since then for the last 16 <laughs> years I've been going back and forth between the London production and New York and then the London production closed and here we are 21 years later um, still running on Broadway. And you've still got the energy and the zest to just yes. go on and just do eight shows a week. Oh, I do. It's eight shows a week and five of them are on the weekend. They're Friday to Saturday to Sunday. That's so unbelievable. We, we kind of really crank it out on the weekends. And this is your what your fourth time playing Belmer in Yes, time. yes. I've been back and forth between London and New York four times and so it's, it's great because it's kind of a revolving door um, within each character. We all get to go and come. Um, it's a different experience with uh, a long-running show like this than anything new. Um, our producers actually want us to come and go and, you know, go shoot a film, go do a TV series, go do another show, and then come back. Because it keeps it fresh. And so it keeps when it you fresh. first uh, started as Velma, you, this was the year after you'd given birth to Katie. Yes. And how did you get yourself ready for that after? Well, it was really interesting. Uh, I didn't think I could. <laughs> After about nine months, I was ready to go back to work, but I also wanted to be a full-time mom. So I really struggled with that. So my first thing was a, a play in the West End called The Seven Year Itch um, with Daryl Hannah. And it was an incredible kind of transition for me back in, because I didn't have a starring role and I didn't have to worry about really being 100% back in shape. Mm -hmm. But it got me back into the eight shows a week, and it got me back into, you know, just being in the room uh, with great people. The room where it happens. Yeah, and <laughs> they were exactly, the room where it happens. And then um, Kaylee got a little bit older, you know, by the time she was 15, 16 months old, um, I actually went into Chicago for the first time with a Roxy whose daughter was nine months old. Oh my god. So we basically had a crash backstage. <laughs> we had a little, yeah, a little, oh, you know, baby. In the dressing room. Exactly. But between our two rooms, we had these gates, you know, in front of the stairs, and the kids would run back and forth. It was hilarious. So she's really grown up in, in the dressing room. Yeah, my daughter's grown up. And and, and in trailers, you know, on, on set. And, yeah. and she's an incredibly gifted performer herself. Thank um, you. She thinks the same of you. <laughs> do you think that uh, Chicago will run and run and run so that at one do. point she gets the chance to oh. fill your boots? It's very funny because um, you know that she speaks Mandarin fluently and um, they're talking about a Chinese production and my, our oh producer my of the show very, as a joke, said, oh, which role could she play, Roxy or Velma? <laughs> I said, well, in a few years, give us a call, we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, this show keeps running and you know, now that we're in our 21st year, it's the next generation. 
You know, look, I mean, you're seeing it. Younger people are seeing it. We've got Todd Call in the show. Um, yes. He's here till the middle of January. It's, it, you know, tons of young people seeing the show for the first time. And that's what it's about. The show just is timeless and it just keeps going. I mean, it's just, could... you kind of just root for these people. And you ask yourself, why do I root for these two women who are just not really the best people, you know? But they're strong women in this show. Um, and I think it's a message for young women that obviously you don't do terrible <laughs> things to get ahead, but that, you know, you can, you, you can do it all. You know, women can do it all. <laughs> these two roles were written on Gwen Verdon and Cheetah Rivera, who were older mm -hmm. you know, for, as dancers, but older um, at that time, mature women. Um, and I think the more mature I get, the more life experience I get under my belt, the, the more I bring um, something special and new, you know, a real weightiness to the character. It's like looking at Glenn Close doing Sunset Boulevard all those years ago and then returning now. You just, you hear it differently because you've had more life experience. And other steps etched into your brain still. You Completely. Know. They will <laughs> never go. <laughs> yes, it's just my image of, is my, you know, leg kicking my ear or is it a little lower now? I'm not sure. So, so. you're doing it in your sleep I'm then. still doing it, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, thank Sounds you. Sounds like we can go down to the Let's go. Stage. Let's go to the stage. Oh, here we are on stage at the Ambassador Theatre for Chicago the Musical. Um, this is our lovely house. It's 1,100 seats. Which still um, gets filled every still night. Still gets filled. After 21 years, pretty exciting. And there's even standing room that happens. The one thing you learn in London is to not push. Because sometimes if you don't get a laugh that you think you've heard it, it as a bigger laugh, mm -hmm. and it's the same lesson here from audience to audience, you might think, oh, I got a huge laugh on that line last night. Now why didn't, oh, maybe I should hit it harder. And it starts to change your performance. Yeah, don't let it. Big mistake, yeah, don't let it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You sit in this side, and so the beginning is, come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And then, da-da-da-da, bum, bum, and all that jazz. I'm yep. going to rouge my knee. I'm going to rouge my knee and roll my stockings down. And then we just, just do this perfect little signature Fosse move, just a hip, and all, all that, that jazz. jazz. Start the car. I know a whoopee spot. Is your thigh burning yet? Oh, oh, it is. Okay, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's in. <laughs> now we finally get to move. <laughs> Where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. It's just a noisy hall. So this one, we finally get to sit on the right. Like yep. turning in, turning mm -hmm. in. Turning in. Noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl and all. Boom. That. Boom. Jazz. Three. Excellent. Oh, She's in. You no. It's it's a physical and mental and, and emotional. Yeah, you're... I'm up the ladders. I'm all over this set. But it's really, you know, it's such a fulfilling show because it does challenge every part of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much for coming. You're so wonderful. It, and I hope everybody can come and see the show. Everyone, get back to Chicago yes. and go and get tickets right now. Excellent. No, I'm no one's wife. But